Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And yes, we do have a piano in the background now. Um, you may see a couple of pre-recorded videos where I didn't have the piano in the background um, that may be uploaded after this video, I'm not really sure. Um, but just be aware that, yeah, that's a thing now. Don't think I'm just moving in and out because that would be kind of ridiculous. But anyway, so today I'm going to be doing the second part of my lipstick collection video series. Um, as I mentioned in my Wet n Wild lipstick collection video that was, I don't know, a few weeks ago that I uploaded that, um, I said I have over a hundred <laughs> tubes of lipstick as you can probably see in the background. So if I did a lipstick collection video all in one, it would be ridiculously long. So I've been splitting it up by brand. So this is going to be my e.l.f. lipstick collection. So what I'm wearing on my lips now is e.l.f.'s, um, let's see what's this called, e.l.f.'s Moisturizing Lipstick in Red Carpet. So I'm just going to start with the reds. I'll swatch this one for you. So that's red carpet. It's just a really true red. It doesn't really, I mean, it kind of maybe has like a pink undertone, but um, it's not really, it's pretty much just a true red. Next is Elf's, um, I'm not actually sure what these are called. It just says eyes, lips, face on it, but I'm pretty sure these are like the uh, mineral lipsticks, I think is what this one is called. Um, and this is in the color Barely Bitten. Here's Barely Bitten right here, as you can see, kind of compared to red carpet. It's more um, muted, kind of like a, um, kind of a mauvey red, but it's what it looks like on a swatch, but on your lips it looks more of just like a, um, kind of like a muted brick red. Next I'm going to move into ELF's Essential Lipsticks, and this is in the color Voodoo. So, here's Voodoo right here. Sorry about the lighting. Next is Fearless, and this is also pretty much a true red. So here's Fearless right here. And it definitely has more of a pink undertone than red carpet does, I think. And then next is Posh, and this is just sort of like a, um, a pale brick red, if that makes sense, right here. And then Voodoo, I didn't really talk about it, but it's kind of like a muted orangey red. All right, next I have two of Elf's matte lip colors, and the first one is in Rich Red. And again, it's just sort of a, um, a true red. Here's Rich Red right here. And then next is Wine. This is wine right here, and I really like wine. It's not showing up like it actually is, <laughs> um, but it really is like a true wine color. Maybe that's a little better. Right here is wine. Um, it's just a deep brick red. I really love it. It's one of my favorite colors. And then I just have one of Elf's shimmer lipsticks, or um, shimmer lip glosses, sorry. And this is just in red. Um, this is really not opaque at all. It's just very sheer. Um, I mean, obviously it's a lip gloss, but here that is. And I just like to put that over, like, the true reds, um, just to sort of make, um, I could kind of, like, accent my top lip or my bottom lip or, you know, just an all-over gloss to just sort of make a matte look more shimmery. All right, moving on now to the orangey tones. I really only have two of these. This is in the color Captivating. And this is just kind of like an orangey nude, I guess you would say. I mean, it's it's definitely it has, like, an orangey tint to it, um, but it's more of, like, a a nude type color rather than like a really vibrant orange. And then I have another of the shimmer lip glosses. Um, and this is just sort of like a mango-y peachy color, I guess you would say, right here. Now I'm gonna move on into the pinks and there are quite a few of these. Um, this is one of Elf's Mineral Lip Tints and it's in the color Rose. And this isn't super pigmented, but I really like it because it's just kind of like a My Lips Fit Better color. So here's Rose. Next is Elf's Moisturizing Lipstick in the color Ravishing Rose. So these are actually pretty similar. And this isn't a really vibrant pink either. It's definitely more of a mauve color. Next is another Elf Moisturizing Lipstick in Pink Minks. And this is just sort of like a pale baby pink, like a really blue-based pink. And I really like this. It's just, it's kind of a Barbie pink. It's actually much more vibrant than it's coming off on camera. So it's sort of like a Barbie pink, um, but kind of more muted, I guess. Next is another e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in Flirty and Fabulous. And this is a really, really bright, really blue-based pink. Super, super Barbie color. I love this color. It's just the perfect, like, true, really vibrant pink. Next is e.l.f.'s Essential Lipstick in Classy. And this one's kind of, like, worn out. The packaging on the essential lipsticks isn't great. Um, this one's super old and pretty much gone. Um, and it's just kind of like a like a medium rosy pink, I guess you would say. That's classy. Next is the essential lipstick in Flirtatious. Here's Flirtatious right here. 
And then next is the Essential Lipstick in Sociable. And this is more of a, a vibrant, um, more like red-based pink, I guess you would say. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's Sociable. Next, I have Elf's Matte Lip Color in Tea Rose. And this is a really, really muted, like, purplish pink. Again, this is sort of like a My Lips It Better color. It's not really vibrant. Um, it's just sort of like a, a pale color, but it is really matte, and it's really pigmented, and so I really like it. Next, I have another matte lip color in Coral. And this is a really orangey-based pink, obviously, the color Coral. That's Coral right there. And then I have some more lip glosses from e.l.f. in pink as well. They call us their luscious liquid lipstick, but to me it's a lip gloss. Um, it just kind of like turns up like that. And it's not very opaque at all. It's very sheer, so that's why to me it's definitely more of a lip gloss than a liquid lipstick. Um, let's see, what color is this? This is pink lemonade. So this is that color right here. And then I have... Else Hyper Shine Gloss in the color Fairy. And again, it just kind of has a brush and you just kind of roll it up. And this gloss is super, I mean, it's definitely listed to its name, Hyper Shine. It's super glossy, so I really like it. But it's it's pretty sheer as well. Here's Fairy. I don't even know if you can actually like see it coming off on camera. There you kind of can. Fairy. Really, really sheer. I would normally wear that like, you know, on top of, you know, say Coral or Tea Rose or something like that. I wouldn't just wear it by itself usually. Next, I have another of the Shimmer Glosses, and this is just the color Pink. And this is a really, really blue-based pink as well. I like to pair this over, I think it's Flirty and Fabulous. I really like that. And then I have two of these lip colors, which came in, um, I believe, like the, uh, what were they called? I think it was, um, I can't remember, they came out last fall. They had, like, Diva and Wicked. It was, like, the beauty books, I believe is what they were called. Um, so this is just, I don't know, it just has a bunch of numbers. It was just, like, the really really blue based pinky pink I guess you could say that was in one of the beauty books and this is really really sheer it's not pigmented at all hardly I don't know how well it's actually going to show up so that's the darker one and then the lighter pink one just looks like this right here you can't really see it all that well which is kind of hard to do and then I have one last pink lip gloss and this is actually the Pout Perfector in the color Glow but this definitely has a bit of a pink undertone to it so I like to pair this on top of um, sort of my paler pink lipsticks. And this is actually supposed to be used to make your lips look bigger, but I like to just use it as like an all-over shine gloss. There's that. You can't really tell it. It's really, really sheer, it's, but it just has a little bit of pink, pink pigment to it, so that's why I kind of keep it with my pink lipsticks. Next, I have just a few nudes by e.l.f. This is e.l.f.'s Moisturizing Lipstick in Party in the Buff. And this is just a really peach-based nude. I love this. This is a good, like, true nude for me um, on my lips. I really like this. I, this is, like, my go-to nude um, if I'm going for just, like, regular lipsticks. Then I have Elf's Essential Lipstick in Nostalgic. And this is a really, really, really pale, kind of pinky, sort of peach-based nude. I don't really know how to describe this. And it's not even really showing up on my skin tone at all, like in any light I put it in. You can kind of see it like way over here. Um, it's just like, it's not very pigmented at all, and it's really, really pale. I don't use it a lot, but I mean, it is a nice dude. Then I have Elf's Essential Lipstick in Fantasy. And I really like this. This is also a go-to nude if I'm looking for more of a deeper, more brownie nude. This is Fantasy, one of my favorite colors. Next, I have the matte lip color in Nearly Nude. And this is just another really pale, peachy nude, but it's matte. Then I have um, Elf's Matte Lip Color in Natural. And this is just what it says, just a true, pretty neutral nude color right here. Sort of gray-based, but not super, you know, grayish or taupe or whatever. Then next I have another matte lip color in Praline, or Praline, however you pronounce that. And this is just another really browny nude color. I like praline as well. And then I have Elf's um, Lip Stain in the color Lucky Lady. And I rarely wear this. I like the color, but I just don't find myself reaching for this very much. I don't really know why. Um, but it does dry matte, which is nice. Like, completely matte. So that's Lucky Lady right there. And then I have one last uh, shimmer lip gloss. And this is just in the color Nude. 
And I can't even really get this to actually show up on a swatch just because it's so pale. Um, but it's just a really nice sheer wash of color um, just to sort of put over, you, know, you can kind of see it there, just to sort of put over any, um, any new lipstick and just kind of make it a little more glossy. And then I just have one last color by e.l.f. to show you. This is another um, lip color, lip gloss that was like in the beauty books. And this is just in the color black. And I don't wear black lipstick a lot, but when I do, I usually like it to be matte. But, so I don't think I've worn this maybe like once. <laughs> um, but here it is. It's a really true black. Obviously, it's a gloss that would need to be paired over an actual black lipstick. But it just, if you really want that super shimmery black lip, that would definitely achieve that look. Okay, so that was my e.l.f. lipstick collection. It's a little extensive, I know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, or I hope this helped you in some way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, I love you.